today i want to talk about iodine and how is iodine important for anti aging as we know iodine has been used in medicine since prehistoric times and so we have a 15000 year history of using iodine although today doctors believe that iodine is not so important human race knew that iodine is always important for us bromine which is another halogen you know iodine bromine and then chlorine those are halogens and fluorine fluorine out of this iodine is the only healthy thing everything else is toxic to human body even bromine especially bromine bromine is added to mattresses foods and other consumer products since 1970 we know that thyroid and breast disease have skyrocketed breast cancer even has skyrocketed and we know that bromine can lower IQ, your intelligence, and increase obesity. In Russia, people used to inhale iodine to prevent lung infections. And another thing about uh, iodine is that when you take iodine, iodine supplement, within two hours your brain function improves. Your brain needs iodine. And since we have taken the bromine. since 1970s with our bread and other things it has purged or gotten rid of iodine from our bodies and we know the fried tartans are all prominated and they use pesticides and so human beings get a lot of exposure to bromine and going to world health organization iodine deficiency is the most preventable cause of mental retardation and that's to do with the thyroid function since 1970s we as humans take 50% less iodine and during the same time diseases of the breast prostate and thyroid have increased iodine is very important for prostate and also for male and female sexual organs and we also know that iodine was used as a treatment in the past used to treat goiters atherosclerosis syphilis and fibroids and even with poisoning with mercury lead and arsenic because when you take iodine it helps you to get rid of these toxins from the body it's used for swollen gland prostate hypertrophy scarlet fever bronchitis and pneumonia so it's also used as an antibiotic in the past and to treat obesity because when you give iodine it increases thyroid function and helps you to burn calories helps you to heal depression function so helps you to help yourself with depression breast pain eczema and other diseases so it's very important for your skin as well and also to treat ovarian cyst malaria tonsillitis and also lung problems to get our daily requirement we will have to eat about 4 pounds of fish a day if you are trying to get it from the sea fish but today we know we can't eat that much of fish because fish has mercury and fish has a lot of other toxins as cadmium such as cadmium and other stuff so the required daily amount is 150 micrograms that is only to prevent goiter but for normal function of the body we need more than that so the conditions which will be help with iodine include myriad of conditions like allergies brain fog dry skin fatigue, thyroid problems, ovarian problems, uh, brain dysfunction, menstrual irregularities, weight gain, breast pain, gum infection, psoriasis, diabetes, hair loss, puffy face, fertility problems, depression, blood pressure, heart arrhythmia, <coughs> cholesterol, scars, infections, genital herpes, miscarriage, fibromyalgia, and lung conditions, constipation, infertility, vaginal infections, eye infections, eye problems, neck pain, and to it helps to increase sex drive and increase erections and increase semen and very easy test to find out if you have enough iodine or you are deficient in iodine it is to take 50 mg of iodine and take the 24 hour urine excretion of iodine if you have 
no deficiency at all, all that 50 milligrams will be excreted in the urine within the next 24 hours. But today we know most of us, almost 80% of us are deficient in iodine. Uh, we know some people take seaweed for iodine, but seaweed can have arsenic, heavy metals, oil spill dispersants or radiation even. So seaweed used to be a very good source of iodine, but today we can't recommend that either. Lugol's iodine solution is the easiest way to get iodine, especially in Sri Lanka, because you can buy it at the pharmacy and it's very cheap. You just have to take two drops of 5% solution daily to meet all your iodine requirements. And you can drink that with your early morning water, with a glass of water. We know iodine helps diabetic gastropathy and so, and it also comes as iodoral, potassium iodide tablets and also as a solution. We know there are other iodine things we use for disinfecting uh, such as povidone, betadine or tincture of iodine. These should not be used because the other things contained within these solutions are toxic to us. And if your iodine gets into your clothes you can just use a little vitamin C paste to remove it. Hashimoto's disease, you heard of it. Hashimoto's disease is one of the commonest causes of hypothyroidism and this is caused by a deficiency of iodine and selenium. Now we see a lot of people with hypothyroidism, the incidence is increasing rapidly during last decades and that's absolutely due to lack of iodine intake. Because we think we are getting enough iodine in our iodine soul but we don't realize that most of that iodine added to that soul gets evaporated by the time it comes to the kitchen. So, most of the Western doctors have this negative idea about iodine. They think it's dangerous because of one erroneous study which was done a long time ago. But today we know that's an erroneous study and iodine is absolutely necessary for health and for, and for many and to prevent and treat many conditions which afflict us today. So, if you have breast cyst, we recommend progesterone cream together with Lugol's iodine and also iodine remove bromine and fluoride from your body even chlorine it also removes toxic heavy metals mercury cadmium uh, lead things like that so and also we know that if you are uh, trying to get the maximum sexual function for a man you need iodine because iodine increases free testosterone levels and we know if you take iodine regularly, even cherry and geoma, which are caused by estrogen imbalance, goes away. So healthy skin requires iodine as well. And a little caution for people who are anemic, for iron deficiency anemia, your ferritin levels may drop initially, only initially, and they'll come back later. Also, if you take thyroid hormones, like synthroid, and your thyroid gland will take a lot of iodine, you need more iodine in that situation. And people should know that bromine is dangerous and it's in your bread today, it's in fire retardants, pesticides and therefore uh, also in mattresses, upholstery, electronics, children's pyjamas, draperies and children's toys. So bromine has gotten into our daily lives and it's a toxin. You know most flour is brominated, it used to be only iodinated, now it's brominated. Some soda, sports drinks also contain bromine. And BVO stands for brominated vegetable oil. So I don't recommend vegetable oil for anybody, I only recommend coconut oil. Remember, coconut oil is the best oil for human beings for health. And today, many countries have banned bromide. UK banned bromate in bread in 1990, Canada banned bromate in bread in 1994. I don't think we have banned it in Sri Lanka, unfortunately. Lastly, Wolf Shekhov assumption was the study which revealed that when you take iodine, it starts the entire gland. And therefore, in 1970, the United States decided to remove iodine from the bread. This is all based on erroneous studies. Today, we know this is only a very short term effect and good for the surgeons who are doing operations on the thyroid to make the thyroid gland less vascular. But otherwise, iodine is absolutely essential for us. And I recommend for all my patients to take iodine for anti-aging 